Hey everyone, in today's video I'm showing you how to make a super delicious sugar-free hazelnut ice cream with vanilla. You're in for a real treat, because this ice cream is creamy, rich and packed with flavor. So let's get to it. This is pure Tahiti vanilla bean paste and I'm adding a full teaspoon of it to 300 milliliters of milk. I'm gonna link to it in the description below. And here I have 100 grams of xylitol and to it I'm adding 30 grams of milk powder. The milk powder is an excellent emulsifier and flavor enhancer. Just mix them together and then add them to the milk. The reason why I'm mixing the dry ingredients before adding them to the milk is because they're very lumpy. Now take a whisk and mix very well. To prevent big ice crystals, I also like to add a little bit of agave syrup, 20 milliliters in this case. Mix again to disperse the syrup in the milk and then add two large egg yolks. Without the yolks, the ice cream wouldn't be so smooth. Mix very well to incorporate the yolks and then add 120 grams of hazelnut paste. I prefer to use one that's unsweetened. So just freshly roasted hazelnuts ground into a fine paste, that's it. Mix a little with a whisk and then take an immersion blender and emulsify the mixture for one or two minutes. This step is crucial in the final texture of the ice cream, making it incredibly fine and smooth. And then add 300 milliliters of whipping cream. The reason why I didn't add the whipping cream before was not to make a mess with the blender. So just whisk it and then take the creamy mixture to the stove. Cook it on the smallest flame all while whisking constantly until you reach 82 degrees Celsius. Then you can cut the heat and remove the pot from the stove. In my heat proof bowl I have 20 grams of butter and I'm pouring the hot hazelnut cream directly over it. Mix slowly and gently without incorporating any air until the butter melts. Then cover the cream with plastic wrap directly on the surface and let it cool down to room temperature. After that, refrigerate it for at least 8 hours. After the time has passed, peel away the plastic wrap and give the cream a good stir you'll notice that it thickened a little. Stir very well, scraping the sides and bottom of the bowl to evenly distribute the vanilla seeds throughout the cream. Then get your ice cream machine going and pour the hazelnut cream in. Mine takes about 20 or 30 minutes for this recipe, but it all comes down to the machine. So make sure you stick to the manufacturer's instructions. And while the ice cream was churning, I froze a glass casserole. This way, the very soft ice cream won't melt when you put it in the casserole. And while I scraped the lid and then the paddle, I'd really appreciate it if you took a second of your time and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. The ice cream becomes very, very thick and that's because of the hazelnut paste. But nevertheless, it's smooth and creamy. And would you look at that? Isn't that so beautiful? 
Some of it was stuck to the bowl, so I needed a wooden spoon to get it out. The silicone spatula was too soft. The ice cream is delicious as it is, but it needs the time in the freezer to fully set and develop that beautiful texture. Use a soft silicone spatula or the back of a spoon to level it in the casserole and then put a lid on it and freeze it for at least 8 hours. After that time has passed, remove the lid and let the ice cream sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. It's gonna be very hard. To make it easier to scoop out, I prefer to warm my ice cream scoop in hot water and then I'm wiping it dry. Because I make entremet cakes, my freezer has to run very low, at minus 23 degrees Celsius, and that's why this ice cream is so hard. And to be totally honest, well, I just couldn't wait a whole 10 minutes to eat it. And as you can see, it's totally impossible for me to stop at two scoops, but four will do. For now. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and that you're gonna try it yourselves. So let me know in the comments below how it turns out for you and I'll see you next time dessert lovers!